Good afternoon, everybody. This is Camera Arts. All right, guys. I just was counting how many roseate spoonbills are in the background, and all of a sudden, here silently above me, uh, we've got... Uh, okay, I see black vultures for sure. I'm trying to see if there's any turkey vultures. The wings are going to be a little different. Coloration is going to be a little different. And... Okay, I'm trying to zoom in. Woo! Looks like we have nothing but blue sky. Oh my god, I can't even find the... I can't even find them. Okay, so... Here we go. Yeah, so, a bunch of vultures. Now, it looks like it's all... Oh, there's a wood stork with the white. Where'd he go? Right here. Oh my god. Okay, there's a wood stork for sure in the mix. Really bizarre. I don't know why they're all flying around on the thermals. I'm trying to count real fast. It's impossible to count. At least 40 birds. Isn't that bizarre? And then this is Lake Searcy. We've got a great blue heron straight ahead. We've got American coots, common moorhens, and then way in the distance here, I don't have my digital camera today, a bunch of roseate spoonbills. Some people say roseate. They're down by the water. You can barely see the pink. And they're also up in the trees. Isn't that fascinating? But yeah, I don't know what would bring the vultures in. Gosh. I mean, unless something all of a sudden died. Now remember, vultures cannot kill prey themselves. They, they have to rely on something else killing it. And then, then they'll come in and uh, tear up the carcass uh, that's decaying. And they prefer food, you know, within one to two days, one, two, or three days. A lot of people think something could sit around for a week and then they'll go for it, but that's not true. And here is a, that just landed, this is a glossy ibis. Very beautiful. And it's got a shimmer to it in an iridescent green. Alright guys, very amazing day. Oh, and let me just tell you, I've been walking for, see I started at 1 o'clock, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah like 3 hours uh, around this whole entire lake and then around the different wetland areas. So great exercise out here as well as phenomenal birding. Alright, have a great day.